I love them so much. Today is a full day of eating video. And let me back up. I'm April Warren. I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. Welcome to my little channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I am doing a full day of eating today, but I didn't eat breakfast. And it's supposed to be a high carb day, but I didn't eat breakfast, so it's probably gonna be the same as moderate carb day, but that's fine. It's fine, <laughs> this is real life. And I don't know what happened to breakfast. Breakfast was supposed to happen. Breakfast didn't happen. But I thought since I'm not be gonna be doing all the meals today and I already worked out, I didn't film it, so I'm not gonna be sharing my workout today. I thought I would take you guys to Hobby Lobby and we'll do a little shop with me. So as always, down in the description, there's a menu. If you guys would like to skip over any part of this video, then you can by looking in the description and jumping to the timestamp. So, my attention, and I'll see you after this. In today's full day of eating for lunch, I'm making this California style veggie mix, a sweet potato, and seven ounces of leftover steak from the night before. As I mentioned, I am only eating lunch and dinner. I didn't eat breakfast. I had planned on eating some oatmeal and a banana. I did eat the banana later in the day, but the, for the oatmeal, we'll have to do that next time. <laughs> so I just completely skipped breakfast. So I only ate twice this day. Um, while I was waiting for the vegetables and the sweet potato to cook, I played on my phone and I played with the pups. They did some tricks and I gave them some treats <laughs> and really like I just enjoyed the feeling of being in those jeans I'm not gonna lie I always wear leggings when I put those jeans on in a few videos ago I wasn't able to like do them up so the fact that they were like buttoned up zipped and all of the things I was super super excited about and it felt really nice to wear something other than leggings And I love how my pups kind of move all over the house with me. They're so funny and they're the sweetest. I love them so much. I have to mention this because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> My hair is wet. My hair is wet and it's drying still in this lunch video. So really quick, I wanted to acknowledge all of the things on the counter behind me. <laughs> A sweet family that we are friends with. Um, I'm friends with the mom and it was her birthday this week. And then her two little ones, it was both of their birthdays this week. And she is a very, very pregnant. And so I, my husband and I hosted and Yena hosted with us um, a birthday party for, for all of them. So it was a fun little time. And so that's what the chips and the hot dog stuff and all the things that are by me are for. It's for the picnic. The picnic party. The picnic dinosaur princess party. <laughs> Lunch ended up having 854 calories, 46 grams of carbs, 54 grams of fat, and 48 grams of protein. Now let's get on to Hobby Lobby. <laughs>
The road to Hobby Lobby, much like everything else in this full day of eating, did not go as planned. For one, where I intended to head there at one, I left our area at five. I actually have to drive about 30 minutes away to go shopping at Hobby Lobby or to TJ Maxx. So it's a little bit of a trek. I had some other errands to run and they just took way longer than I had anticipated. So I went to Hobby Lobby to buy a fall wall hanging to put over the buffet I have in the dining room or something kind of neutral. Either way, I would have been happy, but they did not have anything. They definitely didn't have anything fall. I asked the lady as I was leaving if they'd be getting anything else in and she said they would not get any more fall stuff in. They're completely phasing it out for Christmas stuff. And man, they had a lot of Christmas stuff. I really want to go ahead and buy a Christmas tree. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Some of you who have been following me for a little while might be like, what happened to No Spin August? Well, clearly I failed. <laughs> I'll show y'all what I got a little bit later. I did not record it on this day. I'm doing my voiceover a few days after just so you know, and not that you needed to, but now you do. <laughs> um, but I'll show you guys before the end of this video what I actually got. Um, so I fell at no spin August, but I also succeeded because I know I spent like 1 20th of what I would have if I did not do no spin August. So that's good. <laughs> I'll talk more about that on Wednesday though. Yeah, I actually talked to you guys quite a bit when I got in my car, but I didn't take the mask off. <laughs> so you couldn't hear anything that I was saying. So I just decided to include that in the voiceover part. <laughs> When I got home, I went straight into making dinner. I decided to make Kung Pao chicken, and I'll put the recipe for this down in the description below. It is so good. I did make a few adjustments, and I left out a few things that were in the recipe, but that's okay. Like, it, I mean, it's hard to go wrong with this recipe, but <laughs> uh, we love it. So it's actually a keto-friendly recipe. Um, not the rice that we used, but <laughs> if you use cauliflower rice, instead of jasmine rice, the recipe for the Kung Pao chicken part. That is keto friendly. Um, or low carb friendly, or gluten free friendly, any of those things. <laughs> um, so this one, it's one of several that my husband really, really enjoys from when I did keto. He also likes, there's a butter chicken recipe that I like, or that we like, and then there's also a cashew chicken recipe that we like. So there's quite a few. Um, but I'll link all those recipes I got from the same place. So I'll link the Kung Pao chicken one down below in the description. And you'll have to let me know if you try it. When y'all watch this, it's gonna be the last day of August. <laughs> Whoa, it's, it's so crazy to think about. Um, 2020, <laughs> it's, it's a weird month to have flown by yet crawled so slow. I don't know if you can relate to that, but yeah. Um, in case you didn't know this or needed a gentle reminder, I did create the August Blackout Bingo card for everyone. Um, and then anyone who shares the completed card will be entered to win a small prize or a gift rather from me. It's just a small thank you thing that I thought of and thought would be cute to do last month. Um, so I did it in my one month update video, but I'm going to link that down below. The deadline to post the picture is going to be end of day on September 1st, so everything should in an ideal situation be completed by end of day on the 31st of August, but the picture posted on the 1st and then I will do a little drawing and send one person a small gift from me. So everything's in the description. A 
I want to take a second to share a few things on my mind. This video was supposed to be Friday's video. I had already recorded everything. I just needed to put it together, but Thursday was a rough day and well, I didn't put it together. <laughs> Nothing necessarily went wrong with the day per se, but everything felt super stressful and everything took way longer than I had intended and nothing went right, you know? Like, <laughs> it's frustrating when nothing is exactly going wrong, but it, everything could be going a lot better. So it's weird. And I definitely felt not in the state of mind to be making YouTube videos. Like I was pretty, pretty negative about doing this video. So <laughs> anyway, um, and the full day of eating videos I've decided are not my most favorite to do. So we'll probably put a pin in, pin in them for a little while, maybe once a month or something, but I won't be doing them weekly anymore. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all because everything goes sideways so quickly at times and life can feel frustrating. And my instinct is to not show you guys or share those things with you guys. Um, but here I am just blabbing away. But on a positive note, I do want to acknowledge that I can really see some weight loss in my body. I know I still have so much further to go, but it is awesome to be able to see the progress that my body's made. It's hard in the moment because when I'm looking at myself, I don't see it. But when I look at videos as I'm editing it and stuff, even if I don't love the way that I look yet, I love the changes that I see in my body. I love how so much stronger my body is. All of those things make me so happy. So anyway, let's go over dinner. <laughs> so dinner had 943 calories. Yes, that is a lot of calories, but I only ate two meals this day. So for the day, I did not eat that many calories. I was actually under my goal since I skipped breakfast. Um, but carbs, I ate 85 grams, I ate 35 grams of fat, and I ate 87 grams of protein. So that was this meal. And it was super, super good. And I was super full once I got done. <laughs> Today I ate 1,795 calories, carbohydrates took up 33%, protein took up 25, and fat 42. Definitely not a high carb day. I don't have another high carb day on the menu for this month, so this is it. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna show you what I got from Hobby Lobby and then I will be wrapping this little video up. Alrighty, so. From Hobby Lobby, I didn't get a lot. I got these two, I don't know what they're called, but what they, they're so cute, the little leaves, and I think I might grab a couple more, um, but you put hot pans on them so they don't burn like your countertops or your wood, and I've been needing some, and I just thought these were adorable. I never get them even though I need them, so excited about that, and then I got these little ornaments. I've decided I'm doing a tree in my gym this year, so I actually, there's some ornaments sitting in my cart on Amazon just waiting for the end of the month so I can order them. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got issues. I've got shopping issues, but I've done so good this month. I really have. I really have done really good, just not perfect um, with this Hobby Lobby run anyway. But yeah, so that's what I got. Well, beautiful people, I hope that you guys have had a much better week than I have had. And definitely, I hope that you have not had a worse week than I have had. Which my week, on a scale of like good to bad, it's it's like in the middle or like the middle to good. It's really not that terrible. I just kind of have a bad attitude. But I hope that you guys have great attitudes and that it's been bright and happy and good things have happened. If they have, comment down below and let me know something good that's happened to you. The last week and if you haven't I would love it if you would follow my journey by clicking subscribe and dinging the bell so you're notified when I post and I look forward to updating you guys on all of my progress on Wednesday I'll see you on Wednesday bye guys <laughs>